Welcome Pisces to your monthly love reading for August of 2018. So we do have a new format here and we're going to look into the first week of August. Now I do feel like there's a lot of tension, some heavy, heavy tension between you and someone that you might be dealing with. And I feel like if you feel just like it's all too much, the relationship, the connection, um, if you can't get through to your partner, if you constantly have conversations about things that aren't working for you, your space, whatever it might be, your just your the arrangement, um, just being on the same page, whatever it might be, even if you're dealing with someone, an ex-partner that you're moving away from, and they might even kind of overwhelm you with emotions and um, different requests and things like that. Um, I feel like it really brings you down, and the tension is really there. So um, you might even be dealing with two different people that affects you in some way, and you can't get through to somebody, you can't get through to either one of them. So you're kind of feeling down. I feel so. You're. I feel like you're also dealing with someone. Who may be having issues with a lack of closure from their past, from your past, um, questions unanswered, certain patterns that they're not able to really let go, someone that they've dealt with where they're still having troubles with that certain connection. So I feel like both of you are kind of at a standstill, maybe in the beginning of the month, just um, a lot of anger, maybe resentment, a lot of tension that is there. So the frustration could be very tense. So you have to really take it easy, um, try to be cool, calm, collected the best way that you can so you aren't reflecting and giving off the same energy maybe of the other person if it constantly comes in so um, keep that in mind as you go through the month um, it just depends on your beliefs your perspective and how you feel that you um, want to go about your love relationship or marriage whatever it might be um, I feel like these things might be challenged and questioned and brought out um, so it's there so as you move into the second week of August I feel the energy of you trying your best to um, take a moment to kind of observe what you have going through you're trying to figure out whether or not to approach somebody to kind of turn back to look their way but I do feel like a lot of you might just cut it off you might not even try to communicate to somebody um, and it's almost like a you might feel like revenge you might feel like you want to give give someone a taste of their own medicine and I feel like the other person is not liking it too much if they put themselves in that particular situation, if they feel like they can't make plans, if they feel like they can't communicate, maybe be honest, or they're constantly in their head about certain things, I feel like they have some issues to deal with personally for themselves and until they take care of themselves, um, of the constant obsessive thinking and about you or what you two have gone through and the issues of not planning, not making uh, decisions or not making wise decisions, I feel like that can be an issue. So until these things get together on either side, I feel like there's still the lack of communication as the tension subsides maybe throughout the even a second week of August. So the tension is really there. So be care careful of manipulative behavior on either side of the situation. Um, I feel like um, someone could be in a situation that kind of that is part of the obstacle between you two. If you are dealing with someone that you're married with and someone else, it just depends there. But I feel like um, your partner is really obsessing or maybe thinking about you um, and what to do with you or what to do with the connection and what they've done. They might have those things on their minds and feeling like they messed some things up. That's what I feel. I feel a lot of you might be um, doing your own thing, maybe kind of flirting, having a good time and might be feeling like you're single, even if you are in a relationship or marriage because of the tension that might be there between you and someone else. So um, it's really tense. I feel as the third week comes around, there are some things that you might need to change about the patterns that you might have, the things that you run to to try to you know, protect your own self from any kind of fears and a connection with somebody else so you might run to drinking you might run to eating you might run into smoking um, hard drugs whatever it might be it tells you to you know try to break away from these things and break away from unhealthy relationships that constantly bring you down into tears into unhappiness and I feel like this um, removing yourself maybe from an ex-partner or whatever unhealthy relationship that you might be in right now is um, is going to help you out to try to maybe focus on yourself and do you and kind of sever that tie if that's a decision that you actually make I feel like that's something that you are maybe moving into a big decision for you but it does seem to be like a lot of you are moving into it's a new love a new opportunity that is there you're still getting to know somebody but it's it's quite hard it's quite tough and um, I feel like you Trying to maybe trying to challenge somebody to see if they're tough enough to, you know, to kind of endure this particular relationship. You might be challenged in some way too, little do you know. But I feel like that 
you know someone that you are dealing with they still have obstacles with staying true to their goals you know doing things for themselves or you know embarking on a relationship together so that it can be a healthy thing and they would be constantly spinning 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 on things that they might sh you know shouldn't be and it could cause a detriment or be a detriment to the connection in some way so they constantly do things that um if you got plans you know they hamper the plans because you two are not on the same page you don't talk about these kind of things and you know that's always going to be a problem and an issue so i feel like that has to change in some way so watch what you do with your money and hopefully they're doing the same thing right so towards the end of the end of the month the energy gets a bit tenser all right it's um i feel like again you don't want to speak to that person you don't want to be around them you might not even want to see them because of the confrontation or the friction that might be there between you two because you had your heart broken um even if you feel like you broke someone else's heart in different reasons in different ways i feel um that energy is very tense and I feel the other person they may really be in love with you they may be trying to come around to maybe forgive you or vice versa forgive themselves in some way but I feel like the tension feeling broken and not able to really um, communicate or be around one another physically that energy is there because maybe some lessons are needing to be learned from your um, particular situation so going through what you need to go through um, disconnecting from who you need to disconnect from first and foremost before you can get this relationship off the ground and I feel yes there could be love there this might be a new newer energy for some of you out there but I feel like um, things need to change um, I feel like it needs to be much healthier and for you to reevaluate what you've been through where you are now and where you might be going with a particular person or scenario and hopefully that this heartbreak maybe towards in the month it can change over into you know September <laughs> some good things can happen but I feel that um, the tension is uh, very deep with you and somebody else and many different factors could be there um, someone being in their air you know different um, rumors might be being spread you know lies deceits and things like that so just be careful that you're not putting your business all out in the open but you can you know don't feel like you have to be restricted because if someone else wants to you know restrict you in some way with the truth so lots of love lots of light tea tons of healing vibes i wish you the very best and you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something personally for your energy as these are general okay so have a great one and enjoy